Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, February 24th. Welcome to an A-Day and students, welcome back to a regular schedule for my in-person students. That means that you actually get to move from class to class today. For my virtual students, that means you get to Zoom with your teachers today. So everybody enjoy being back on a regular schedule. Also, everybody, did you know that next week is the last week of the third nine weeks? That means next week, students, we're gonna be doing Q3 testing. It also means that this is the last week of regular classes for you before we get to testing. And students, here's what that really means for you. If you are missing work, you need to get all of your work turned in. Students, you need to have it turned in by this Friday just so you can be ready for your exams next week. Students, if you are missing work, you can look in Canvas, see exactly what you're missing. Be sure you turn it in. Be sure you hit that submit button. And then of course, to my students who are taking care of business, great job, very proud of you. Keep getting that work turned in and keep those grades up. All right, we have a few video announcements for you coming up Then we'll get to birthdays, pledges, and creed. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia Shirley Chisholm was born on no November 30th 1924 in Brooklyn New York she graduated from Brooklyn College in 1946 and earned her master's degree from Columbia University Chisholm was best known for becoming the first African-American congresswoman 1968 representing New York in the U.S. House of Representatives for seven terms. She went on to run for the 1972 Democratic nomination for the presidency, becoming the first major party African-American candidate to do so. Chisholm fought for education opportunities and social justice. encourage someone to have suicidal tendencies. Child abuse is a topic that continues to have momentum in current issues. Every year, more than 3.6 million reports are sent to child protection agencies. In this new module, you will understand what child abuse is and how it can be portrayed. I encourage you to tune in to our new SHIELD module. Good morning, YWLA, and happy Wellness Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about responsibility. Being responsible means doing the things that need to get done even if you don't feel like it. It also means choosing to do the right thing even when it's hard. Being responsible also means taking ownership for your actions, like trying to make a situation better when you make a mistake. And finally, being responsible means following through with what you say you will do. So this is just a short look into what being responsible means. Now ladies, I'm going to be very honest with you and say that being responsible is not always easy. But let me tell you, it pays off in the end. You will get more respect for being responsible and know that the decisions that you make for today will affect the person that you are tomorrow and for years to come. You want to be known as someone who is reliable, someone who is able to say, you know what, I did make a mistake, but I'm going to do better next time. So make sure that you are making responsible decisions every single day. 
So today we're going to practice positive self-talk about being responsible. So I'm going to read this three times and I want you to read it with me either out loud or in your head. I am taking responsibility for all of my results. I am taking responsibility for all of my results. I am taking responsibility for all of my results. Ladies, I'm going to end it here and I want you to know that I know all of you are leaders and I know that all of you are capable of making responsible decisions. I hope to see you around. Bye. Please rise for the pledges and our creed. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I am YWLA. I am a scholar. I am a leader. I am a young woman. Respecting myself, my family, my peers, my community, my image is of integrity, the portrait of pride. I hope, I dream, I believe. Maintaining the discipline to succeed and the courage to fail, I am, you are, we are YWLA.